This lesson provides a review of IBDs. Please note that IBD here means IBD reagents, as discussed in the contents of medical device and IBD regulations. IBDs are categorized into class 1 through 3, as discussed in the contents of the regulations. The PMDA reviews class 3 IBDs, such as HIV, HCV, and tumor markers, microbiology test kits, and any novel, radioactive, or non-conforming products, or those without approval criteria in all classes. Marketing application and regulatory review of IBDs are conducted as shown in this slide. As the first step, an applicant who must be a Marketing Authorization Holder, or MAH, submits the marketing application comprising the application form and application dossiers called Summary Technical Documentation, or STED, the harmonized format for demonstrating the conformity of medical devices to the essential principles defined by the GHTF. The BMDA then reviews submitted documents on items such as product specifications, conformity to essential principles, performance, risk management, and so forth to confirm the safety and performance of IBDs. The PMDA further reviews submitted raw data to assess data reliability. In parallel, an on-site QMS inspection at the manufacturing site to assess conformity to ISO 13485 will be conducted. If all the results are satisfactory, marketing approval will be presented to the applicant. Additionally, a periodic QMS follow-up inspection will be required after the approval. This is the target timeline of the approval process for ordinary products, for which expert discussion is not required. The administrative process of document review and raw data analysis takes approximately two months after receiving an application. After the review, some key inquiries and answers are exchanged between the applicant and PMDA and iteration of inquiries and answers for further clarification continues for about four months. A QMS review is conducted concurrently with documents review and Q&A exchange. After discussions with PMDA, the applicant then resubmits some of the documents for review, and if they are acceptable, an authorization of manufacturing and marketing will be given within one month. Therefore, the total time from application to approval is seven months for ordinary products. Meanwhile, in the review category of non-standard products and companion diagnostics, expert discussion is held as needed during the review. And the approval process may take some extra time, as shown in this slide. In this case, after the discussions on key queries and answers between the PMDA and the applicant, expert discussion will take place as needed, approximately within six months from the initial key queries from the PMDA. Then, Further queries raised in the expert review will be sent to the applicant, and Q&A will continue for about three months. After that, the applicant resubmits some of the documents for review, and if they are acceptable, authorization of manufacturing and marketing will be given within one month. In this case, the total time from the application to approval is approximately 12 months. The MHLW publishes committee reports for these products. The Office of In Vitro Diagnostics has two teams with eight reviewers in total. The Novel Product Team reviews products such as new ones or those that require an expert review. In the meantime, the Follow-On Product Team reviews ordinary products and those with minor modifications such as changes in storage conditions or shelf life. These two teams communicate frequently and cooperate closely.